Hi guys, so I have created uh, another corridors from my alignment and just basically top of gravel and top of our, my subgrade in one instruction to, throughout the whole detour corridor and I'm gonna show you how it's done so let's jump right into it. To create different layers you have to go to your project explorer and click on your corridor and over here at the top you have uh, manage material layers so we're gonna add like finish we're gonna call top then we're gonna do a new we can call top of gravel then we can create another one which we can call great which would be top of clay once you have these ones you can close this and go back to our template and hit edit which will bring up the template editor and we're gonna go and insert add an instruction and we're gonna do offset elevation we're gonna hit the node number one offset zero and elevation delta elevation let's go let's say asphalt of 150 so minus 0.15 we're gonna call that i will just keep it and we're not gonna assign anything we're gonna add it which will create us node number six here and then we're gonna do the yeah offset elevation one from previous node which is node number six offset I don't remember what did I do before. Oh, here we can look at it. We got three meters. So we can go three meters. And we're not gonna... Yeah, delta elevation means 2%. And call it edge of this was uh, each of gravel and we're gonna do the top of gravel and hit add this should create as oh yeah delta elevation can be a negative two so maybe not offset elevation offset slope that's what i wanted so three meters at minus two percent call it edge of gravel and hit it to top of gravel add so it should create as this one okay and then i'm gonna obviously mirror the instruction oh it won't let me mirror so i can do instead of previous node i can go back to six offset minus three meters minus two percent and add which will create my top of gravel and let's say we need to create one more which would be not grab yeah which would be basically top of our subgrade so i'm gonna use the same thing where i'm gonna go to my node number six and i'm gonna go offset elevation zero offset delta elevation let's say we have a 300 gravel minus 0.3 and i'm not gonna Attach anything so this would be node number nine Ooh, go back and not previous node node number six so I want to have this now here it can be funny let's say the, our subgrade is gonna be flat so we can go and add another instruction uh, where we can go offset elevation at this point previous node is node number offset three meters at zero elevation and this will be gonna be our subgrade sometimes you cut the subgrade flat and you get a different slope right probably not flat you can go back but for this example let's just leave it flat i'm gonna add another instruction where we uh, i'm not gonna go i'm gonna go to node number nine which is my center go negative three meters at zero elevation and add it so now this created a whole bunch of other surfaces created the finish one here finish 
if you have if you clicked on the I think edit no oh property sorry if you click on the properties of your your properties over here you can see material layer finish if I put in the subgrade it will actually create my subgrade I can export that and that should be a nice flat surface right yeah this would be top of gravel so you can go to your and create uh, corridor surface and create detail corridor top of gravel and if we did that correctly as you can see it create top of gravel and we'll have that level 150 and you can create corridor and not top of gravel but subgrade and this should add another surface over here and another surface over there so now you can switch between them whichever one you need and that's how you can build your additional surfaces so as you can see this was fairly easy hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next one